Music Monday. Take two. Take two. We're going to buy a new mic. That's what we get for trying to provide you with a high quality of production. <laughs> I'm Megan. I'm Sean. Fine Arts Coordinator. The Fine Arts Coordinator. Which means he's an expert on all things music. Today we are going through the whole history of the music genre. Specifically, Sean's going to take us through each of the genres that they collect here in fine arts, and he'll pull a couple new titles to share with you, a couple of older titles that um, we've just gotten in. Um, it'll be great. So, it will be. do you wanna, yeah. you wanna start? So I'm gonna try Where to wanna start? choose one um, new, 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 CD from each genre, and then one new to us. Okay. So not necessarily from the past okay. year or two. So we're going to start with um, the new soundtrack to the movie Arrival by Jan Johansson. Grammy nominee. Oscar nominee. Oscar nominee. We did also, we did a list of Oscar picks on our website, so you can check that out. Uh, we listed this soundtrack as our pick for soundtracks, but I don't think it won. Because as our handy research assistant pointed out, if you have a mix of older music on your soundtrack, it does not count as an original soundtrack. I guess so. Yeah. I, I just yeah. taught you. I just taught you. But yeah, New Hansen has done a lot of great soundtrack work in the past few years. Oh. It's getting a lot of buzz. I think most of his soundtracks are nominated for Grammys and oh. or Oscars. Okay. Yeah. So you can check this one out. <clears throat> Next up, new to us, is the soundtrack to um, Scott Walker, 30 Century Man, um, documentary about um, the legendary singer, songwriter, crooner, experimental music maker Scott Walker. Oh. So this is a a soundtrack to the documentary featuring covers of Scott Walker's work by other artists. Okay. Um, Scott Walker is also a soundtrack um, music maker oh. in his own right. Okay. Um, he does the soundtrack to um, a new film called Childhood of a Leader, which I believe we have in our system. And we're getting a soundtrack quite soon. So he's soundtrack composer that now has a documentary made about him and this is the soundtrack to the documentary. Yeah, can you keep that straight? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Walker, soundtrack composer, now subject of a documentary film with a soundtrack. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant musician, one of my favorites. I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, folk. Um, Shine a Light, um, Songs from the Great American Railroad by Billy Bragg and Joe Henry. People, folkies will know the Billy Bragg name. He's very well known. Yeah. I know him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did a, a few albums with um, Wilco, um, Mermaid Avenue, mm -hmm. uh, the tribute to Woody Guthrie. I think they did two or three albums together. Yes, that was good. Yeah, it was Great. If yeah, you like classic. this, check out the Woody Guthrie work that Billy Bragg did, because it's also very good. Yeah. So that's new, 2016. New to us in folk, uh, classic, best of, um, Buffy St. Marie. Um, originally from Saskatchewan. Is she? How did I not know that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, totally. yeah. She, grew, she grew up here at least. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I just know that she was on Sesame Street. <laughs> Those are the things that I know. So this is a new one? No, this is her best of. Yeah, this is quite old, I think, maybe the 60s. Okay. But we have, um, like, we have her newest album, which won the Polaris Prize oh. in 2016, and a lot of her discography we have here. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. But it's always good to have best ofs, right? Yeah, a nice retrospective of everything we've done. Yeah. Um, okay, next up, 78163 Pop. Got the new basement jacks. Well, new to us, I should say. 
from 2001, I believe. It's called Rudy. It's got a cool cover. <laughs> I like it. Somebody chewing on some roots. Um, new New is the, um, I guess, cover, an, a cover album from Lily Collin, um, where she does the um, covers the music of Ron Sexsmith and Kurt Swinghammer. But it's it's an interesting concept because she covers their songs that I believe that they all play on the album as well. And they're all featured on the cover. Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of more of a collaboration, but she's taken the lead? Yeah. That's okay. what it sounds like, yeah. And you can see Mr. Sexsmith and Swinghammer popping out from behind her head. Yes. He looks very pensive. He always looks pensive. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, yeah, but Lori Collins in charge here. Very cool. Okay, seven eight one six four, new age. Um, this is currently only the new um, new age we have in the new section, and it's actually quite old. I think it's eighty, eighty one, eighty two. Okay. It's the last in Brian Eno's um, Ambient series, Ambient Four. On land. Beautiful album. I think we've got all of his ambient works in our collection now. And he just put out a new album um, called Reflection. Um, I believe we just got that one in as well. Um, and it's um, Reflection has a companion um, app that generates oh generates like amb an ambient music. An app for your phone. Yeah, yeah. This is how I use my phone. This is the gesture. <laughs> An app for your phone. Yeah. Okay, that's really cool. So we've got his new, his new, um, his new stuff as well as a lot of his um, past discography. I want to tease Sean because every week we end up talking about Brian Eno. Somehow, it's almost as if you were a Brian Eno fan. I don't know. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, the logical next step after New Age Country. <laughs> awesome. 781 1642. We've got an older Alan Jackson album. Classic. Yeah. Classic. Album. From the 90s. Looks like it's from the 90s, doesn't it? Um, anyways, yeah. Alan Jackson. Um, and then some new Canadian country. This one's from Justin Rutledge. It's called East from 2016. Okay. Brand new. Brand new, yeah. We have some blues next. 781.643. Um, this one comes to us from Light in the Attic Records. Light in the Attic Records is a um, really cool record company that kind of unearths older, um, older music that kind of flew under the radar initially. Um, this is a blues musician, Hayes McClellan. It's a collection of, I guess you could call them field recordings, mm. taken of him playing probably at his house in the late 60s. So in situ sort of yeah. recordings. Yeah. But this one was, this one just came out 2016 as well. Um, so older recordings, but just being released for the first time. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's called Every Day Seem Like Murder Here. And on the back it says, I noticed this earlier, originally recorded by Gail Dean Wardlow. So I guess that was the originator of these songs in 1967. And there's a nice archival photo of her so you can learn about her while you're enjoying Hayes McMullen. Yeah, she seems kind of like an Alan Lomax character, like oh. a musicologist who kind of would travel around and collect recordings oh, cool. of musicians. Yeah, so kind of like a female Alan Lomax. I'm going to put that in the pile for Megan. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, next up, R&B and Soul. We've got the new Macy Gray from 2016. Um, it's called Stripped. Looks like it's got a bit of a, a bit of a jazzy approach to it. And also from 2016, The Weeknd's new album, Starboy. Cool. He's very hip and happening. Some Canadian r and Check out Starboy. There you go. 
Uh, okay, so rap and hip hop. We've got a classic from Public Enemy. I think this is their first or second album. Is it their first album, Peter? Peter's gonna double check. Anyways, it's a classic. Um, this one just came in. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back. This is some classic hip hop. Um, very relevant. Very relevant. It's their second album. It's Thank, thanks, Peter Greer. <laughs> There's experts in the fine arts department. <laughs> Who knew? Okay. And then we've got the new one from Wiz Khalifa, Black, Holly Black Hollywood. Just arrived as well. Yeah. We're really working on our hip hop and rap collection these days. Okay. Yeah, it's really shaping up. Do you take recommendations or anything like that? We or? do, yep. Yeah. Okay. If there's a title that you can't find in our collection, we've got a form on the front page of our of our website, and oh. you can request whatever you would like. We'll do our best to bring it in. That's convenient. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's after rap? Um, we have some jazz, actually. So jazz? We, so we were talking about uh, Light in the Attic Records with the uh, that blues reissue. This is a um, reissue of some Scandinavian jazz from the 60s, um, Karen Krog. Don't just sing. Um, so this also flew under the radar in large parts of the world. She was hugely popular in Sweden, but oh. like a household name. Wow. Yeah, but only ever really um, saw popularity in, in Sweden and Scandinavia. So this is just coming out for the first time. Hopefully the world, you know, very cool. Karen Krog. Karen Krog. And this, um, this is from 2016, um, Impossible Gentleman, Let's Get Deluxe. I don't know a ton about this one other than that it was on a lot of top ten lists for the best of 2016 jazz. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to rock. New Bon Jovi. I know Megan's a huge Bon Jovi fan, so she'll be taking this one. <laughs> My eyes just lit up. <laughs> bon Jovi! Yeah, this, this house is not for sale. Okay. Um, new old Bowie, Hunky Dory from 71. We just got a ton of Bowie in. Um, our dear departed Bowie. So we've got, yeah, we've got a ton, we just got a ton of the 70s stuff in. Hunky Dory, Space Oddity, Lodger, Low. Heroes. This one's a classic. If you want, if you're not sure where to start with Bowie, this one's pretty solid. Yeah, totally. Okay. It's a lot of people's favorite Bowie album. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> also recently departed, Leonard Cohen. This is various positions from 1984. Um, we just got a lot of new Leonard Cohen in as well. Okay. Um, this actually features Hallelujah. Everybody knows that song, right? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. And he wrote it. You may hear a lot of covers of Hallelujah, but it was a Leonard Cohen song. Katie Lang didn't write Hallelujah. Although she does do a really good version. <laughs> so check them all out. So we've got, we've got a lot of new old Leonard Cohen recently arrived. OK. Mm -hmm. Um, New Green Day, um, Revolution Radio, as well, from 2016. Brand new? Brand new. Oh, Green Day. Yeah, New Green Day. They're still a thing. I didn't know they were still putting out records. <laughs> and uh, this is also very new, um, some more Scott Walker. This is later period Scott Walker, 80, early 80s. Really excited about this one. I've never heard it before. Um, we took a risk bringing, in, bringing it in, and it actually came in. Oh, yeah, good. So it's kind of one of, her, one of his lesser known works, but supposedly really cool. So, new Scott Walker from 84. Climate of Hunter. Climate of Hunter. Scott Walker. Scott Walker. Also showing my bias again. Recommended by Sean specifically, not necessarily the fine arts department. <laughs> so. We should have that disclaimer 
<laughs> Sean's <laughs> opinions <laughs> do not represent SPL. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, Christian and Gospel. We've got a section for that. 782.25. We've got the new one from Crowder, American Prodigal. I believe this is from 2016. Okay. And then we've got some, um, actually some local indigenous Christian music as well, from Jim Felix. This one's a little older, I think, from 2000 or so, but cool, local Christian indigenous stuff. Jim Felix, Contagious. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Okay, and finally, classical. Um, this one um, is called We Sound Beethoven Volume 3. This one jumped out at me because um, John Malkovich is involved somehow. He is uh, credited as a speaker on this. Oh. Yeah. John Malkovich would be a Beethoven fan. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. So recently arrived. Um, some more experimental um, classical music from Terry Riley. Um, I believe this is some, these are some interpretations of his work. It's called 443 Music of Terry Riley. This one is from 2016. Okay. And finally, for classical, we've got the new one from Martha Agarit. Mm -hmm. Early recordings of Mozart, Beethoven, Prokofiev, and Ravel. Okay. So that just about covers the gamut of genres in our collection. All new. That sounds good. We're going to reorganize these and put them back. So when you come in, they'll be in the new music section by the front desk. Um, is there anything else you want to tell us about? There is negative. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, so, we don't just offer CDs. We also offer um, music streaming services through our website. Um, one of them is Maxis Music Library. It's a huge um, database of classical, um, jazz, folk, world music. I think it's the largest online collection of classical music. Um, it's available for free. Just need your library card number through our website. Very easy to access. Yep. And a huge amount of music. Okay. Yes. And then we've also got, if you're not as much of a classical or jazz person, um, Freegal covers the pop and rock end of things. Um, so you can download and stream through Freegal. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's all free. You just need your library card. Okay. And you can access it through our website. So Freegal, if you're interested, has a lot of Leonard Cohen. We were just talking about him. His newest one, just before he passed away, it was released. And I do believe we have Beyonce's Lemonade in Freegal, which I, wow. <laughs> I really enjoy. And was patiently waiting for the library to get. So, um, you can sign in to those through the digital media page on our website, and you just need your library card, sign in, start streaming and downloading. It's very easy. So, there you go. All right, I think we'll be back next Monday at one o'clock. I won't, I'm going on vacation, so. <laughs> Good luck, Sean. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see you then. See you then.